Hello everyone, this is Martin from Polygonic with a quick tip for you. Uh, you can set Blender up to load add-ons from any directory of your choice. It can be a custom directory. It doesn't just have to be the app data on Windows or the home directory on Linux and Mac OS. Uh, so why do you care? Why is this even important? You may want to do this if you run multiple versions of Blender and you want to avoid having multiple instances of the same add-ons wasting disk space. Or maybe you simply want to install the add-ons on a different larger drive so let me switch to Blender and let's check out how to do this. Let's first create a directory for our add-ons. I chose a C Blender add-ons. It's very important to create another folder inside uh, that called just add-ons, otherwise Blender will not pick it up. So go to the add-ons folder and uh, move your extracted add-ons uh, in there. So in case you downloaded them as zips, you now have to uh, extract them using 7-zip or any other tool and move them to this directory. Now when we go to Blender, uh, to Preferences and to File Paths, uh, there's a section called Data and inside there, there's a value Scripts. Uh, we need to set the Scripts path to C uh, Blender add-ons. Make sure you use the correct path. You can use the Browse button to pick it up with the file browser as well. Now when we go to Add-ons and we refresh, uh, we can see, if I type in Botanic, you can see that there's a botanic found and it's in the custom folder that we just set up. And when we enable it, everything works correctly and it'll pick up the install path in our custom path. I have shown how this can work for botanic, but this works for any add-ons. Just keep in mind that the add-ons you're installing to the custom there have to be compatible with all the Blender versions you're using. Hope this was useful. See you around.